right, everybody, welcome back for another deep dive. Yeah, excited for this one. This one is fascinating, I think, and I think it's going to blow some minds. I hope so. We're talking about dry docking a container ship today. Hey. Um, we have a fantastic video uh, that we found on this. Yeah, it's incredible. It really is. It's mind blowing. Uh, so, I mean, we're all familiar with container ships, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I think so, at least. We see pictures of them. We see them, you know, if we're lucky enough to live on a coast or visit a coast, we might see one out, you know, on the horizon or in a harbor or something. Right. But have you ever thought about, like... How they fix those things? Yeah, like, how do they get that out of the water to do any kind of maintenance on it? I mean, they're gigantic. It's it's like taking a skyscraper to the shop. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. wild. And that's where dry docks come in. Yeah. It, essentially, you know, it's a custom-built giant bathtub for these massive vessels. Right, a bathtub for a skyscraper. Yeah. Um, and the video that we're looking at, re uh, I mean, just captures the scale of this. Oh, it's awe-inspiring to see the ship like longer than four football field mm -hmm. being like slowly and carefully maneuvered into this dry dock. Yeah, my jaw kind of dropped when I saw this. I was like, how on earth? Yeah, and it's not just about size either, right? These ships can weigh tens of thousands of tons. So, oh, you know. Really? Yeah, like the amount of force that they exert on the water yeah. is just phenomenal. And like the entire process hinges on understanding buoyancy. Right. Like that upward force that keeps things afloat. Yeah. It's yeah. all physics. So how do they actually do it? I mean, walk us through like the step-by-step -step of how they get a ship that massive out of the water. All right. So first they flood the dry dock. Okay. They open these giant gates mm -hmm. and let the water flow in. So it's like a big empty basin. Exactly. And then... And they just fill it up with water. Yeah. They fill it up with water and then tugboats, these powerful little boats. Yeah. They carefully guide the ship inside the dry dock. Oh, wow. And this is where the precision comes in. Like, even the slightest error, you know, could damage the ship, mm. the dry dock, you name it. And you can see in the video, like you were saying, it's like threading a needle with the skyscraper, like how careful they have to be getting it in there. Absolutely. Yeah. So once the ship is in position, they start draining the water from the dry dock. Okay. Slowly. So the water level starts going down. Yep, and as the water level drops, the ship starts to settle onto these blocks. Blocks. Yeah, they're arranged on the floor of the dry dock. Oh, so it's not just sitting on the bottom of the dry dock. No, no, no. These blocks, they're strategically placed to support the ship's weight. Oh, okay. Like, perfectly distributed. So it's like it's sinking, but in a very controlled way. Exactly. And instead of landing on the ocean floor, it's landing on these blocks. That's wild. Yeah, and once the water is completely drained, the ship is high and dry. Oh, okay. Ready for inspection, repairs, all that jazz. So what kind of stuff do they do when they have it up there? Oh, man. All sorts of things. Yeah. Everything from scraping barnacles off the hull to repainting, fixing propellers, you know? Wow. Inspecting every inch for damage. So it's not just like a quick look-see. No, they go all out. It's like yeah. a full-body checkup for the ship. Yeah, that makes you think about when you order something and it says, like, shipped from overseas. You're like, oh, wow. Right. That probably went through this whole process. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's a huge undertaking. You know, in terms of logistics cost, it's no joke. I bet. It's a big investment for shipping companies. Yeah. But it's crucial for the safety and the longevity of these vessels. Right. I mean, without regular maintenance, these ships wouldn't be able to transport the, you know, millions of tons of goods that keep our global economy going. I mean, that's a really good point. We just don't think about all the things that go on behind the scenes, like to get us, you know, the stuff that we buy every day. It's like the hidden world of global trade. Yeah. It makes you wonder like what other engineering feats are happening behind the scenes that we don't even think about. Right. Like what about the future? What new innovations are they developing to handle even larger ships? Oh yeah, that's a good point. It's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. Yeah, so much to think about. Definitely. Yeah, and thanks for joining us, everybody, for another deep dive. Yeah, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.